What's going on everybody? It's your boy Smitty here. Back for another video. Alright, so today uh, we are starting Austin's 4L60E build. Um, brought to me a while back. Uh, at any rate, been waiting on parts and, and time to get it done. Gear done. Um, anyway, so we got a lot of stuff to go over uh, to get this thing rolling. So let me show you what we're gonna put in this one. By the way, if you haven't already, smash that like button. <laughs> uh, hit the subscribe button right down there if you would please. Uh, and share and comment this with as many people as you can. Help me get my video out there and, and uh, get me up in their old YouTube rankings. So, uh, if you do that, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, it doesn't cost you a thing, so, other than maybe a little finger cramp from pushing a button or two. Anyway, so here's what we got. We got our precision uh, overhaul kit. Got our gaskets and seals and rubbers and that kind of stuff in there. Um, we did get a new separator plate um, Just because of the wear on the other one and these are good plates good heavy plates um, internal wiring harness because it was leaking out of the connector and uh, They're just better off to have it that way get a rebestus fiber kit uh, We will not be using the three four clutches as we have a z-pack to go in this dude there it is in all its glory oh. anyway uh, it's, we get uh, the uh, good molded blue piston kit and of course we got a sonics sheer cure kit here to put in and new filter get a corvette servo i pretty much put the corvette servos and everything even though this is just a regular truck I know he's going to beat on this thing a little bit, so it's a little extra insurance. Um, got a new reaction shaft, roller style, since these are known wear issues. Uh, we have a new reverse input housing. And the only reason why we do really is I probably could have got away with using the old one, except we have a Raybestos Pro Series right there. This is a uh, wide band with both the ears on it since the other one had a broken ear. Um, we have a new pump kit and all the vanes, the rotor and the slide. Have a, a new forward sprag even though that other one was good. It's cheap insurance and this is the good 29 element Borg Warner version. Have our bushing kit. We get all our bushings, output shaft, torque converter bushing, so on and so forth. The Ford steels were bad enough in this thing. I just got some new ones. Uh, the rest of the steels were okay. And of course, the Z Pack's got its own steels since it's all one unit. And we've got the load springs that goes in the 3 4 clutch that weren't even there. Or they were wore out. I don't remember one of the two, but. And since that 3 4 clutch was so roached, I got a 3 4 uh, ret spring retainer, 3 4 clutch retainer. Um, it's used, but it's fine. It's in good shape, so that's all that matters. So, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as the kit wise. Um. We still have to take and get that rear bushing out and uh, get a new one in there and whatever other issues we had. Now I had already checked this uh, capsule over here and uh, it was good. It didn't leak. So we've got a good case to work with. So. 
that's what we got to put in this thing and then we got all our parts here already cleaned up and ready to go got the valve body in a bag uh, that way it stays nice and clean so it's time to get to building on this thing so let's get to, let's get going on it we'll get this table cleaned off and and get started okay first things first since I don't have a press here I'm gonna take these up to the shop my work in other words and uh, get these bushings pressed in but I need to get the old ones out first so let's match up the ones we're gonna need of course we got a pump bushing underneath this seal got two stator shaft bushings one here and one there Then we've got our sun gear bushing that's in there. And we got our sprag bushings right there. So we got to get those two out also. So the two sprag bushings will be identical it should be this one here yep and be that one so that's 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 those two okay your front pump bushing is this dude it goes right there uh and i lied to you it's this one here excuse me that one goes there Okay, your sun gear bushing. Not gonna be that dude. Looks like it's that dude right there. That's your output shaft bearing, bushing. Yeah, that's that one. And then your two pump bushings. That's the front one there. That should be that one there. And it is. Alright, so there's our bushings for that one. Should have everything you need. The reaction shaft's already got the bushings in it because it was brand new, so. So let's get the seal out of here. We'll make it a little easier to get out. kit showed you the tools that we did we're gonna flip it over and do it on this side got more support
Put that off to the side. Let's get to the sun gear. And it's got a lip on the back side of it, so we should be able to get a pushing installer down in there. Yep, that ought to work. I'm not going to work on that side though. But that one will. Just like that. Alright, see what we can do with this. Shaft here for the Ford Sprague. That one looks good. Should be able to knock both of those out the same side, so that's what we're going to do. There's one. There's two. Just lickety split. Alright, making some headway. Alright, looks like the only one we got left is the pump and for that okay he also is part of the sonix kit um we're gonna ream this this hole uh with the sonix reamer kit to accept the oversized valve so get our reamer out here Put that in there. We're going to use transmission fluid as our cutting oil, which you can use just about anything, but the transmission fluid works pretty good. Turn that down to one. Dip our reamer in there. Make sure that that, this has to be all the way seated. And just let it go. Apparently it doesn't like the uh, the reamer too much we'll get right here on the tip there we go okay we are bottomed out just like that Clean your flutes off, and since I've cleaned it off, I'm going to lubricate it with a little transmission fluid before I put it back in the tube. And there you go. That's it for that. So we'll take this up to the shop and uh, flush everything out, make sure it's good and clean. And uh, we'll push the rest of our bushings in. Because these, I've got a little aerosol at work. I don't have it here. But I can cut these bushings. So that's about the only way I'm going to get them out. Since I don't have a, a uh, reamer that's going to work right. So, hold that thought and we'll be back. Alright, so where we left off, 
I pressed these I took these stuff to to work and and press the bearings in because or bushings because you don't want to hammer them in I found that you know if you've got an arbor press great but the arbor press doesn't exactly fit everything but a shop press works real good and on this seal there's a couple things you need to know for one you need to glue it in with this green thread locker um, just put it around the outside of it and put it in and it it holds that that bushing in intact number two on this surface here there is a lip on the inside it's called an anti-walk lip and all it does is it wants to keep this bushing from coming out forward uh, if you can use the the butted see that butt right there you can use that with this one but if it's a non if it's a non lip style you don't want to use this butt style bushing this one also also one, also one of the PTFE bushings uh, the other thing is number three is you want to make sure that this gap is at the 12 o'clock easy way to tell on the back of the pump You see it the way this is all cut here. You've got a hump, hump. You got a, a passage there, a passage there. That's the bottom of the pump. Okay. So, make sure that that gap is at 12 o'clock or somewhere close to it, and you're good to go. But. Yeah, I got the bushings pressed in the for the sprag, for the gear on sun gear on that. That sun gear bushings in there. And these are kind of a booger. I had to use a, um, a bushing cutter to uh, cut that bushing to get it out on both sides. Because otherwise I mean the the blind thing doesn't move doesn't work real well on those bushings so anyway got all that done um, and you seen and got everything washed up so it's ready to go okay one last bushing we got your tail house or your output shaft bushing got to get it out so I can't do it one-handed so let me put you on the tripod here all right camera's gonna bounce around just to let you know wow that came out really easy okay if you've noticed I actually marked it I marked it where the grooves were in the bushing. There's one there and there's one mark there. And then I marked a line of how far down it needs to go. This line here will probably get washed when I when I put the bushing in, but we'll see. Got a new bushing here. Line up your grooves. And what we're going to do. use a bigger driver to get on the outside of that bushing so it doesn't the chances of it mushroom is pretty slim all right that's all the further we can go with that one
there's our rear bushing and when we got these small drivers out we might as well put our uh, our uh, oh, I'm drawing a brain fart shift shaft seal in so that's going to be this dude right here so get your kit out this little bag looks to have all the all our little seals in it Yep, there it is right there. That dude's gonna go in right there. Give us a little, little bushing driver. That looks like about the right size. Just like that. All right, so our case is ready for assembly. So I've scrubbed and scrubbed on this thing and I can't get half the dirt off of it. So it's not worth painting this case. And this isn't a show truck by any means. So um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna paint this one. I need to get me a a soda blaster or something like that so I can have some way to clean these cases up get all the dirt and junk off of it without you know causing any damage to the case all right so we're gonna end it off there so if you like the content that you're seeing make sure to hit that like button and <laughs> subscribe down there it's a little red button down there beside it Hit subscribe and turn your all bell notification to all and share it and leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. So with that being said, y'all uh, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. God bless you and God bless America. Bye-bye.